Hello and welcome to another edition of Lair Dress. Foreign Airlines are the pleasure this country as a life. The kind of relationship we have with them is uh, parasitic and they never want Nigerian Airlines to develop to the level of uh, competing with them, even on Nigerian routes. So I decided that we must save this country. So long as our government supports us. If you ask me, they should probably even give him some waiver. Almost immediately. There is no airline in the world that has not been supported by their government. Mm. Directly or indirectly. Because that London route, it's highly competitive. So you're going to be competing against the makeup carriers of this world, all right? If this is the baby to compare to, yeah, course, to them yeah, and then be able to compare to what they have, what are the things you put on the ground to make sure that you can compete favorably? We are ready to compete with the legacy airlines, as we, as we, especially on Nigerian routes. We want to make sure we control the Nigerian markets. And that I know for sure that God Almighty has ordained. We are going to have control this market. This is the end. Mark this day, mark my word. By the special grace of God Almighty, this is the end of Nigerian airlines, or Nigerian complaining about failure of indigenous airlines and international scene. You can see the kind of beautiful aircraft we brought in, not just any aircraft. It's beautiful. Three, 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 seven, three class. First class, business class, and economic. Intense competition has commenced already since the announcement of APC Airlines London route. After years of soaring airfares, ticket costs have fallen to lows not seen since 2022. The airline seems to be doing incredibly well with booking as well. As inaugural flights is already fully booked, there is no seat on the 30th. You can see it on the screen. I checked the 30th is filled up already. And I'm eager to see how it unfolds for Nigerian travelers. To give more insight into the situation and see how flying APs will compare to flying others, I interviewed Susan Aborie. Hello, Hello, Susan. Hi, Adache. Susan has been in the travel business for over 15 years. She is the MD of Topaz Travels and Tours and also the president of the National Association of Nigeria Travel Agencies, NANTA. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Airpiece is doing incredibly well. Their Lagos London route launch date is completely sold out. It means people are still traveling. Interestingly, people are traveling. Where are they getting the money <laughs> from? Well, <laughs> maybe you'll ask them. But you know, Nigerians, where travel is in our DNA. Travel for us. Now, so look on. Exactly. Well, like the Chinese people, we love moving, we love travel. Funny enough, it really didn't stop. Well, there was a scale down, if you may say, but it really didn't stop people from traveling. It's just made travel now for us um, of um, importance. Unlike what the comedians used to say before, that Nigerians, they travel to go and charge their phone in London and come down, come back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's a joke just to let people know how much Nigerians love to travel. Yeah, Nigerians travel for anything and everything. They travel for naming ceremony. They travel for marriage, they travel for burial, they travel for anything at all. The travel is still there because the flights are full. For instance, one of the airlines that just released their inventory, you know, we also have issues of airlines withholding the lower inventories, which is uh, which cost lower. And um, they have just released it now because uh, I, I, I made an intervention and uh, the government also made an intervention on that on our behalf. And they released the inventory and I checked on the system. And I'm like, you guys said you have released seats. I'm not seeing anything. And they were like, hey, it's because March and April is full. That if I go to May, I will see it. And interestingly, I meant to May. It was available. Well, it was not available in March and April. That they are already fully booked. Can you imagine that? And with this economic situation and with the complaint here and there, with the cut down that we are asking, well, I really don't know where people are getting money from, but they are traveling because the flights are full. My darling. Nigerians are traveling. Now that AP is going to, to wow. London, my members are so excited. Could you say that the war on pricing has already started? Competition drives price down. You know, you having a carrier of your own gives you respect in other countries. Mm. Most of the, this mis misbehavior of other carriers is because we don't have exactly. our own. We don't have our own. So nobody goes to Aikau meeting to sit on behalf of Nigeria for us because we don't have our own. The Should I even tell you something? When Epis launched and they brought out their affairs, we still had some airlines that refused to release in this. My sister, quick, quick, 
they release the inventory. I tell you now, they are doing promo. We have not had promo in almost two years in this industry. Almost two years. Now we are hearing promo. Competition drives price down. Epis has come. Everybody is doing promo. The airlines that don't even want to even give us lower fares to sell are now doing promo. So it's a good thing. This is private, I understand. And uh, I still encourage the government to still do Nigerian air, no problem. Because, like for instance, in the UK, they have British Airways, which is government, but it's privately run. And they have Virgin Atlantic, which belongs to a private person. So it's wonderful. We welcome everybody. Even by the time the government is ready to do the Nigeria air, we will welcome them too as well. Besides being up against golf carriers, European and American carriers, he will also be competing against some from the continent. There can never be too much. There can never be too much. So Epi is coming. We're also excited, and we have actually given them a slogan: Epi is our own. That's what we <laughs> told him. It's our own. It's our brand. We should be proud about it. They're just starting. They might not get some things right. You think Epi is stand a chance? That's another thing. Some managers are like, ah, Epi is can't trust. I said, look, once upon a time, that was the story of of all, all these big airlines that you know now. But they they have built over the years. So let's give them a chance. It's our own. Let's support them. Where they go wrong, we'll let them know. They will adjust. You sure the ones that have been there for years, they still make mistakes. Exactly. I still put customers on some airlines that they come back and start fuming. I will never fly that airline again. Go to I all this, like the treatment. Go to all the legacy airlines. Yes. Go, go to social media and see the reviews. Exactly. Their reviews are so terrible. They're so terrible. Epis have grown over the years. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. and they have and they're steadily grown. Well. They're doing well. Well, I, 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 I bothered an aircraft business class for that matter. I won't mention, and they said food was finished. Business class, not economy. Which airline? <laughs> it was Air France. They had two types of meal, and the one I wanted, I had. They had taken my order. I know how a business class works. They come and take all your orders, and they will start bringing it. So they are taking all our orders, and when they were bringing, I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry, it's finished." And I'm like, "Don't you know the number of passengers you have on your aircraft in the first place?" So you can imagine if that happens to Epis. Oh my God, Nigerians will not allow the man here. What? We are just so good in bringing down ourselves. And I must say this: Nigerians should stop it. We should stop it. The problems we are having, we are not the only ones that have problems in this world. We have problems, so let's not let's stop pulling ourselves down. I was in a conversation with somebody. That lives in on Toronto in, in Canada and we were talking and I'm so glad the man brought up the issue. Somebody now said hmm, now wow, Canada is now beginning to close us up or they say Nigerians. He said stop it don't say that. I live there. The people causing majority of the issues and atrocities are Indians. Not even Nigerians. But if one Nigerian does something wrong, oh my God, it's blown out of proportion. So he, it, it makes the whole world touch, uh, put the touchlight on us. So they look at us with extra eye because that is the way we are presented ourselves. But I tell people, just like when we had issues with Dubai that, during that COVID time, mm. and they were like, the reason why they were doing what they were doing is because Nigerians are perpetrating crime. I said, okay, I won't argue that with you. Let me accept that. Truly, Nigerians are perpetrating what? To be fair, a fair analysis will be that you will take the percentage of Nigerians in UAE, in Dubai, and you will now put on the scale the percentage that are committing crime and the percentage that are growing the economy of UAE. Put it on the scale. If the scale is like this, then we're not bad after all. Mm. But if the scale for those doing bad is up and the one doing good, then you can say we are bad. But until you give me the scale, you give me the analysis in percentage, please don't talk to me. Once you confront them like that, they keep quiet because they know it is the truth. That's so let's look at the economic implication of this to Nigeria economy. The economic value of homegrown product is the fact that everything is here. <laughs> it will have peace. We will have the issue of drop funds. Oh, I can't get dollar like all the other airlines are telling us and trying to force us to buy tickets in dollars because they want dollars. That issue will not be there. The taxes would duly go to the government as I went you. Mm. Some of these foreign airlines really don't know whether they are declaring their real taxes to the government or not because they have to also ask that to another government. Mm. But now, opportunity for local products, mm. opportunity for the downstream sectors in terms of the catering services, mm. in terms of um, the grand handlers, in terms of a lot of things that they have to do. At least opportunity to have our own cuisine and our own language language on an international mm -hmm. route you know some people still have problem in hearing some of those things when they're making announcements mm -hmm. i've been there so i say, please my daughter what did this say <laughs> when they're making announcements mm -hmm. and then this one there'll be pigeon english announcements there'll be english announcements and of course the money remains home this one's come they do the business and they take the money away they don't invest mm -hmm. but at peace the money is here and god bless his soul is making so many other investments in different areas 
in Nigeria. So the money is not going anywhere because FP is our own. Whatever market the money is here, it's been reinvested back in Nigeria. And of course, for we agents, it gives us more opportunity to sell. And it's a direct flight. For some of those that say, you know what, I don't want to transit. I just want to go six hours. There you go. You have it. Six hours straight, you are where you are going to. And the timing they have given themselves is perfect. They leave in the midnight, get to London in the morning. So you can just go and attend to your business. You've, you've, you've saved the whole day in doing your last minute meetings and business mm. in Nigeria. Leave at night, you sleep, you are waking up in London. So the timing is beautiful and it's perfect. And it just has multiple uh, economic value. We might not be able to see it now, but my what I will also say here is they should please let the government temper mercy with justice with EPIS. When it comes to EPIS, yeah. they should be able to give some exclusions. Exclusions, because that's what I'm about to Just say, to because encourage him. Encourage him. Because are you ready? We know there's no level playing field when it comes to our own. Yes. They give all the concessions to the foreign carriers. Yeah. The EPIS need all the support oh, yes. that he can get. From our government because we want okay. them to go and do well and continue to make us proud because that london route it's highly competitive if you ask me they should probably even give him some waivers almost immediately there is no airline in the world that are not being supported by their government mm. directly or indirectly so epis is not going to be the same because it's coming in at a very tough time where aviation fuel is very high where so many things are just very high the economic situation is very bad so to help him mm. so that he doesn't fly six months and say i know they do again i cannot meet up i cannot do this so that that does not happen mm. the government needs to look at all the different levies that he needs to pay at least from this side because the uk will not pity him mm. the uk government will not pity him he will pay everything to the last pounds they won't pity him but on this side let the government pity him give waivers reduce in some cases keep them concession as a way of encouraging them and as they are giving him that waivers he needs to reciprocate to Nigerians in terms of fair okay in terms of the price you should not take advantage of the waivers and try to make, keep more for himself mm. and for Nigerians this is our own enough of bad mounting our own if we have been hearing now for us to come out of this economic crisis we have to start doing made in Nigeria so EPIS is made in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We need to be patronizing made in Nigeria for us to get out of this economic crisis because we are a dependent country on a currency that we cannot even print. We can print the US dollar. So we will forever be indebted to that. So we need to start finding a way of patronizing our own. The message is being preached. So message to Nigerians, please give EPIS a chance. I'm sure they will do well with our support. Let's give them a chance. Even when they make a mistake, it's not enough to crucify them and say you're not using them again. We can talk to them. At least I know uh, Dr. Yema. He has a listening ear. He listens. Because we had most of the advice we gave to him in the forum, he implemented it. Even when the first initially came out, there was disparity. And I called him. I said, oh, God, this disparity don't go walk oh, Because you cannot put the one that travel agencies sell at 1.4 and you put the one on your website 1.2 and he listened he listened to me and now the fares are the same so he has a listening here and we promise him that we'll continue to give him updates for instance when our clients travel mm. and they come back we'll ask them for feedback and whatever they tell us we'll tell him mm. so that him is, is himself and his team will try to correct that but nigeria should be please be patient it cannot be all perfect i just gave an example of an airline that they said food finishing business class so at least our airlines have been there for over 70 years so give them a chance they are young they are baby playing a very competitive role and trust me i'm sure the uk government will not make it easy for him so why they are doing that on that end let's do our own part on that and say you are not going anywhere or you will continue to fly mm. for me and the entire travel agency community we are 100 percent in support mm. and we're going to sell we are advising to be fair to everybody. Let everybody have equal playing ground in terms of commission. Don't try to segregate us and give some people higher, give some people, or don't even give anybody at all. That's not gonna be good to you because this divide and rule, that's what all these foreign airlines has been doing. Divide and rule and causing confusion among my members. But you are our own, don't do divide and rule. We are told him that and he heard and he said he wouldn't do that. So if he has all his eyes and teeth crossed, I think he will be fine. Okay. And the service you guys also advised oh, the yes. service. Service. The service because that's very service. important. Very, very, very important. important. 
we told them that service is very important and that is what we would actually be updating him on as as people travel they will come back and give us feedback mm. when you buy ticket for your cousin ah no this ah it was really nice and we promise him that as we are getting this um this impu this report we will be letting him know if possible we will encourage our members we have an instagram we are all everywhere on the social media we will be posting the comments of clients mm. On the social media, we will encourage all our members to do the same so that people will know that Air Peace has come to stay and is our own. So service must not be compromised. Cautiousness, uh, delivery, um, being time. respectful, be on, on, on time. time. Because, I mean, for some of their locals, their staff can be nasty on the local wing. They can't try that on the international law. Mm. Because as if they go off point, we tell, we tell him over and over again, we're not seeing any change. The same way they support them, we will fight them more. Okay. But we don't want to fight him. You know, this he has uh, promised to listen to us. Let's talk about the aircraft. Were you shown the aircraft? Yes. Turn the video. Okay, that's nice. They showed it to you guys. Oh, they showed us toys. It was beautiful. It's a fantastic aircraft. Sweet. I was actually impressed. I was very impressed. So they will be having the Boeing 777. Mm -hmm. They'll be flying two times in a week. Mm -hmm. They usually use that to Dubai. So we know the configuration already. Mm -hmm. has first class, business class. But and this does not have business class. It's just premium and economy. And it is sweet. This is a 787 Dreamliner. It's an aircraft from North Atlantic Airways. It's actually a leased aircraft beautiful i was very impressed okay you guys are really rooting for him we have to be proud of our own if i tell you what my members are planning i want them applying to issue their tickets by themselves so they buy the ticket yes yeah, so they'll buy the buy tickets. the ticket and then join yes, so on the inaugural that's what wow. a lot of them and i they would yeah i know that if you go they might probably do your own free because you have a press but we we want to buy the ticket they will buy the ticket they will do t-shirts airpiece at the bar, our own, our own. Uh, Lanta. Uh, I will say that for them. That as from the airport, they want to make noise. That's what my members told me. That they are ready to make noise and they are they want to make noise. It will be buzzing in all of our media. I just having those people. I tell you, honestly, I'm just really, really, really so happy. So checking process. All of us are there with our t-shirts, pictures, videos. We have to be part of our own. And my members are willing to make noise. They've been telling my friends that we will make noise on this one hour. <laughs> so, okay. And I hope also excited. one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. You know, have you to check out the lounge they'll be using at the airport? Because definitely, oh, no, the clients will be asking. We have not. They are sure asking. that is why the inaugural flight is there. We have not. So, good question. Thank you very much. You know, sometimes you have so many things occupied in your head you are looking at the technical part you're looking at the professional part but you tend to forget the ordinary part which is the lounge very important they didn't discuss the lounge they're going to use with us on that day but it's a good question so we will bring it up and hopefully that inaugural find they should give us an opportunity to also go and check out the lounge, the lounge. yes government should have yes. a very good lounge, lounge for, for them. them and the yeah. lounge also in the uk in, in the Gatwick. uk yes in so we also need to check that out because as travel agents those are the things that customers will ask just like you have asked me now and i told you that i don't know mm. so it's important on that inaugural flight for them to actually do like a farm trip for the travel agencies we check out the lounge from here we also check out the lounge in in gatwick that they are using because some of the high network individuals are very particular about exactly. things like that yeah so they will ask and if they ask we should be able to have an answer exactly thank you so much thank this discussion you. will still be very very much ongoing